Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. It is apparently Sunday. Which is like the story of every Sunday, I swear. Weekends. It's already you just, Sunday. You get to Sunday and it's like, oh, man, Sunday. Yeah, it's like, man, where did the, where did the weekend go? All right. So I think we're in for a pretty surprising time. Are you sure this time? Because I keep getting prompted more. I, I keep coming back to this and hoping there's more. I don't know who was lied to more, like everyone watching this or you. <laughs> All right. All right. So apparently so, it's already Sunday. It's already Sunday. Man. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been... We've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? It's a trap. Trouble in paradise. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Uh-oh. Okay, I know we've said it before. I, I feel like we, we something bad is probably about to happen. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Yuki. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I like the little cow. I was just about to say, I really like that cow and chicken behind him. All right, where do I get one? I don't know, but I wanted I wanted to, that cow to be that big. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. How is that Jeez, my job? Are you like a maid? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Jealousy. <laughs> yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Oh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just... Wanted to see how you were doing. I just want to steal that cow and chicken. Yeah. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Yugi. Huh? Why can't it just be like it always been? This is all my fault. <clears throat> if I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings... Huh? I'm so confused. If I didn't make that stupid mistake... What? What? 
then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. What? Is she like secretly an in the closet depression case? I. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this, this is just my punishment, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, hey, that's Whoa. not cool. <laughs> Fine, see if we care about your well-being anymore. I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. What? This is pretty deep. It just wants to torture me. What? And then she laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> I am so confused. I'm Sorry. Too. You know, I'm a chick, of course, but I don't understand women. I really don't. I've said this for years. Like, this whole crazy, like, roundabout circling way of talking is crazy. All right. Can someone confirm for me? Like, is that just... Is that just a girl thing, or is that, like, just crazy writing thing? Yeah, it might be just crazy writing thing, but I do know I've known a few people in the past that, yeah, they were that kind of vague. Okay, all right, so there we have it. Okay. I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? <laughs> See, he's confused, too. Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Yuki. But. You're wrong. Impossible. We're never wrong, right. except about, like, pretty much everything. <laughs> Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? That she's a psychotic crazy person and going to murder everybody. <laughs> Couldn't be. <laughs> what are you talking about, Sayori? Uh, you're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Yuki? Yes. We don't get it. We We're don't dense. get it. We're very dense, I guess. I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really oh, call me bad depression my whole life. See, I told you. All right. Ding. Point for Liz. Point for Liz. <laughs> Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because you can't wake up on time. Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Mm. That's like a big, heavy rock to throw at somebody yeah i mean so it's slowly getting darker i know i'm in shock i can't even figure out how to respond how is it possible that sayori kept this from me the entire time that i've known her did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her why sayori eh why is it that you've never told me about this it almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I could have done everything, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Yuki. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you'd have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Like watching anime and playing video games. It's very much appreciated. Or trying to find out where to get another cow and chicken. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's, someone get on the Google. Now I feel like I want to watch cow and chicken. Ooh. <laughs> Back in the day cartoons. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. 
It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung in, against my head. Now I'm laughing again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Wait, what? I think she was trying to, like, give you up. <sighs> Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Yuki. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And was a mastermind in doing so, mind what? you. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you come here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh? Yuki? Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yuki. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ears. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Yuki. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have it, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sari finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Yuki. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But... Hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um... Uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sari wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. All days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... 
It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if I would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Not even a little. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about me. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Ugh, leaving that much of a depressed person at home, and she just admitted she likes pain? Yeah, maybe not our strongest move. Doesn't seem like a good friend move. Although the music picked up, so oh, I'm, I know. you know, it might be okay. I just hope we don't find her corpse tomorrow. I kind of thought that's what was going to happen there. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well. All right. So we haven't found any horror, but it has gotten incredibly depressing. But I mean, it's a good realistic portrayal of people with chronic depression, which I thought was pretty oh. good. Oh, yeah. No, I thought the writing for that was really good. But that just... It took a turn and not the turn I was expecting. No. I'll give him credit for that. It did say psychological horror, didn't it? When it, it we, did. So. All right. Happy okay. music now, I guess. So we're going to just push depressing best friend aside for now and move on with our lives, I guess. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Oh, God. Yuri? Uh... Thank goodness. You're a little early. That's you. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common <laughs> sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Not horribly confident. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Don't know how it got that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not Sayori. No, definitely not. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. <laughs> I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Huh. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Maybe that would have been weird. None to say no more. Yeah. Uh... That <laughs> would be even more embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, don't look in there! Ooh, what's in there? I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ugh. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. And reaching into a desk drawer? No. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. I want to know what's in that desk drawer, man. I know. So, um, yeah, I really want to know now. Is it, like, his 
rated R manga. That's what I, I'm between. I'm like, it's either porn or it's where he jammed like every object in his room in order to make it look clean. Oh, that, that could be true too. <laughs> so should we get started? Uh, yes. <laughs> um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. <laughs> atmospheric enhancements? I know, was a <laughs> <laughs> You know. Music. Paper mache. <laughs> <laughs> Music, mood, lighting. I was going with decorations. A fancy word for decoupage. <laughs> <laughs> What's decoupage? Oh, right. The cab that one time. <laughs> Mood yes. lighting, aroma, aroma therapy candle. <laughs> wow, we're on one point for Liz, one point for Matt. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Oh, she was talking about the festival, not the bedroom. I think it's going to be both. Is it? That's my guess. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. I'll bet you are. That's great! It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. No, that's the worst way to put it, you idiot! Is that a bad thing? I would take intense in a bad way. No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'm kind of happy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. Oh, all right. <laughs> You're gonna need to pull the stuff out of the Appar drawer. <laughs> I'm just thinking <laughs> we can we can now break into the drawer. I was going to use them during the poetry event. <laughs> all right, now I don't know what it could be. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Can I point out something really quick? Yes. Her personality is off too. Okay, explain. She's very timid and very stammery and. The only time she really opened her mouth was when she was, like, reading a book. Okay. She's forming full sentences, and she's bringing all this random stuff that sounds very romantic. Okay. Counter-argument. Yes. She reads a lot of books. She probably has, like, a very, like, romantic mind and doesn't realize it. But she's not good at expressing it. Right, so she probably doesn't realize that these things are, like, romantic or that it will be taken that way. We'll see, but I also feel like her personality is not as what it was a few videos ago. That I will agree with. Although it did also say that she's opened up more now that we're texting. Or maybe that was just, like, a ploy? Like, that whole shy act was just something to, like, get us... So that she could eat us with her demon eyes? Exactly. Hmm. Interesting. They are red. I mean, at least the... They're purple! No, I was talking about, like, the eyeshadow. Oh. Sorry, continue. We digress. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden <laughs> cylinder-shaped object? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to get my mind out of the gutter now. <laughs> okay, Why it's would? safe to say you can open that drawer. Uh, yeah, no, there's nothing in that drawer we need to be embarrassed about now. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. <laughs> I don't believe her. Well, no, she said on the way here, so it's like, oh, I just was going to do this shopping anyway. I did it on the way here, so I just happen to have this stuff now. Uh -huh. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? I think that would be a fire hazard. Yeah, that would be really neat. What am I saying? What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? 
See, we need to get our minds out of the gutter. <laughs> it's a diffuser for essential oils. What kind of oils? What are you going to use those essential oils for? I'm saying. <laughs> How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Like, literally zero experience for <laughs> 16 or something. Oh, come on. You're a subject matter expert. Don't lie. In your spare time, that's all you do. Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributions to a positive atmosphere. <laughs> Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. Romance, there it is. I like, see, she just slipped that in there. I know. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh first in this one. Thanks a lot. I had it under control. <laughs> Don't lie. You were two seconds away from losing it. <laughs> you did it first. Doesn't matter. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. <laughs> okay. Maybe the game is being extremely harmless where they actually meant to have this, like, lovely imagery. I feel like I'm going to have to, like, set this as not suitable for all audiences. <laughs> it's probably not suitable for all audiences now because of me and you. That's true. That's true. We're a bad influence. This is probably, yeah. <laughs> well, and this game uh, supposedly has some dark themes, and it has gotten a little darker. But are we, are we talking about this kind of dark? Are we talking about, like, I was, horror? At first it was, like, dark. depression dark. Now it's, like, odd sexual themes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that <laughs> one for? <laughs> Come on. This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to s describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? <laughs> What? I want people's hearts to pound while they read my poem to them? I mean, I was going to write a poem about the toast that we ate that morning, so heart pounding it was not on the list. Yeah. Maybe yeah. add the Pop-Tart too, but still. <laughs> it does sound suitable, but not as good as my Pop-Tart poem. You should do a haiku about it. Prepare that for the next Miss, video. Yes. <laughs> Ode to Pop Tarts. Ode to Pop Tarts. <laughs> All right. If it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out we probably spent the last 30 minutes, like 20 of it, making our own commentary and 10 of it actually playing. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think there's a game here somewhere. <laughs> but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Whoa. Danger. No. Re reel it in. <laughs> Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh, oh, oh yeah? <laughs> what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon and hang them from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fashion the paper into the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? it also catch the eyes of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, 
I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Oops. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what kind of laugh that really would be. I don't know what that is. I mean, it's too bad in comment form you can't have someone do their best impression of that laugh. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> That's a laugh. All right. It's like a maybe a chuckle, or like a nervous. Twitch? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. All right. Anyway, moving on. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Yuki. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Oh, uh, all right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad <laughs> handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Huh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, this is the knife I use for all my virgin sacrifices. Oh, crap. <laughs> we chose bad. We chose bad. We're dead. <laughs> Sayori, save me. <laughs> well. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're... Going to think it's weird. Probably. <laughs> Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Oh my god. Okay. This may be the end of you. If it's the knife you're planning to kill me with, I'm not okay with it. I'm Maybe gonna be weirded out. She used to like summon Cthulhu or something. Maybe it's a little bit more or less sinister. Still not alright with that. <laughs> Date's over if that's the case. <laughs> alright. The thing is. <laughs> <laughs> that was not what I thought I was going to make. <laughs> You're lying. I know. <laughs> I'm kind of into knives. <laughs> this is really kinky, by the way. A little bit. I hope your character's into this stuff. Ribbon, yeah, I'm, No, I'm not okay with any of this. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Whoa. Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> Please don't think I'm weird for this. You're oh my weird. god, yes! Oh my god, yo, this could actually hurt somebody. <laughs> Run, Yuki, do not date this chick. <laughs> I'm just gonna go <laughs> grab the door handle real slowly, turning, running out the front door. Uh, have a good time. Enjoy all the things in my room. <laughs> They're yours now. I'm gonna go call the cops. Yeah. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No. No, I'm not <laughs> laughing at you. I promise, please don't kill me. <laughs> it's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Whoa. <laughs> sure, I'll check it out. Just, you know, set it down, walk ten feet away. And uh, then I'll pick it up. You know, she stands with her hands behind her back like that. I swear to God, she probably has a knife in her hand this entire time. Like, do I stab him? Do I stab him? Should I stab him? Now we have no witnesses. Oh, God, no one knows we're here. Send help. Sayori! 
Can we smoke signal to see where he throws some paper cranes out the window? <laughs> Yuki, Yuri. Yuri. Yuki and Yuri. Yuki and Yuri. Fondle the knife. Yuri. <laughs> Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel what? the point of the knife with my index finger. Why you, would you idiot! Do that? No one has a taste. Ow! For, no one has a taste for blood. God. <laughs> Yuki, why did you do that? I didn't <laughs> expect it to be that sharp. Oh my it's God, a knife, you idiot! You idiot. <laughs> how are you this? How are you this dumb? How are you this dumb and still alive? Well, I mean, I guess you're not gonna be alive for much longer, because we're gonna get killed. <laughs> I mean, I will say this: getting killed by stick by stabbing ourselves with a knife was not something I would see coming. <laughs> I barely touched it at all. It's it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp because it's a knife. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's not how I use it. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is supposed to be funny, but it's funny. We're gonna get murdered. Send help. <laughs> you realize we now, uh, tonight, have to go check out the closets for Yuri before we can move on with our night. I think we're gonna sleep with the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound oh God, a closer is she gonna look. Lick it? <laughs> uh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, uh, as you. Wait. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> Without warning, Yuri I puts said my it. finger I said it. in her mouth and licks the wound. <laughs> I said it. What? Oh my God. All right, that's two for me now. Okay. So when we invited her over this weekend, out of all the things I imagined would have happened, this, not on my list. So like, she's either a masochist, or she's a sadist, or she... Hmm. Maybe she's nurturing. She sees someone hurt, and it's just like, oh, man. Vampire. Or she's a vampire. Wait, no, she's out during the day. She's a reverse vampire. <laughs> In conjunction with the saucer people. <laughs> that master shake, he's real smart. <laughs> Anyways, continue. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, uh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Because she's a vampire and she's in the sun. At least she doesn't <laughs> sparkle. That's true. All right, that we're we already one up on Twilight. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure. It was a little weird. That and it was took a me lot by surprise, weird. Surprise, <laughs> but I guess she was just trying to help. No, right? Do you know how many germs are in the human mouth? All of them. <laughs> Literally every plague known to man. All the germs. <laughs> Microscopic germs. <laughs> oh, can we get a spruce moose? <laughs> we'll get a spruce moose. How come our bedroom doesn't have an awesome cow? Okay. Is there a cow in there too? No, there, oh, our room doesn't have a cow. That's sad. We don't have like a mini cow. Devs, if you're watching, okay. I will pay you for a cow. How about we go sneak over to Siori's house? We get the big cow because we can use it to defend ourselves. Like if she's, if she's trying to stab you, you can like throw the cow at her, and she's gonna be like, "Oh, it's so cute that she'll stop stabbing." Oh, okay. I was worried that the cow was gonna get no, stabbed. No, it's in this. so okay. cute. How could anyone like start a massacre? I'm saying, all right, let's go get the cow. Okay. Price is averted. We're getting right. the cow. Just, We're gonna go get the cow. We'll be back. <laughs> Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. I think I read that already. Uh. She doesn't lift her head. 
What if she doesn't recover from this <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. Oh, God, oh, God. are you going to stick hair finger in your mouth now? I take your hand and lick her index finger in return. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki! Did, did you really just do that? The, now we're even. Guys <laughs> are both weird. <laughs> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. <laughs> Not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil. The air would be extremely heavy right now. <laughs> <laughs> she just calls you weird. You're so weird, Yuki. What? <laughs> You're the one that likes knives and licking people's blood. You and tried I'm to drink weird. my blood and you're calling me weird. My God, Yuri giggles shyly. Huh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. She's right. She's obviously right. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one actually. Oh my God, should he? Did she heal our cut with her saliva? Yeah, it was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all outside, out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? There's more. There's more. Yeah, let's do it. What, did, what do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. And I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. You, If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. I think that's probably a good place to stop. So it got a little darker. I know we didn't quite get to the horror, but it's getting darker. It's getting darker. Darker and darker and darker and darker. Also, I think we spent the majority of that laughing about the fact that weird crap was going on we did okay we're sorry we won't do it again until no. next time yep next time <laughs> and we'll try to get our brains out of the gutter no promises we'll work on it not gonna happen even no. a little no i don't know i don't know why you even brought it up not, that we no, were... i was trying i was trying to get a new leaf <laughs> we were going to pretend like we might try to try but we won't at least we put up an effort for 27 seconds we did okay that's fair all right, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, do please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time.